Hello and welcome back for some more Mathlicious Maths. So here we are solving a system of linear equations, or sometimes it's known as simultaneous equations. And first of all, we're going to tie um, the technique of doing it by substitution. This is the first one, so this is why it's labelled A, for the examples that we're doing. So we have this system to solve, and, and what I've done is I've taken each of the equations and I've numbered them 1 and 2 so that I know which ones I'm using as I'm going along. So first of all, we need to do by substitution. This means we need, the, we need to make one of the variables, either x or y, the subject of the equation. So it has to be x equals or y equals. If I look here, these numbers have already got a coefficient, but the x doesn't here. So this is the obvious candidate in this one to be the one to make it the subject of the equation. So we need x to be isolated. So I need the 4y to disappear from the left-hand side. I do that by subtracting 4y from both sides at the same time, and I produce a equation which I'm going to use for substitution. Now I'm going to substitute equation 1, which is this one, now into 2 but in this format. So wherever the x is, I'm now going to put 1 minus 4y minus 3y equals minus 9. Now you should pause the video now and actually work this out yourself and see what value you get for y. Then uh, turn it back on and check that your answer matches with mine. Okay, so you're back to check. So we do this two times. We get minus 8y, we get minus 3y, is minus 9. The y's we can collect together. Uh, I want to make the 2 disappear from this side, so we're going to uh, subtract 2 from both sides at the same time. Uh, I carry on, I've got minus 11y is equal to minus 11. I'll just move over here because I run out of space. I'm going to show that I'm going to divide minus 11 by the minus 11. And then I'm going to end up with the value of 1. Okay, and you're very excited because you've got an answer. But obviously, we also want to work out x. So make sure you've copied this down, or you'll have to come back afterwards to finish copying it, because I'm going to swap the board around. So now we've found out that y is 1. That's very good. Now I'm actually going to go back and use equation 1. I could have used the equation 2. Um, and I always write the equation in the format it originally started in, in case I made any errors earlier, which I did not spot, and this could maybe help me spot them. So obviously we put the y in, and you should be able to work all this out without me, so that's going to be x plus 4, x minus 4, both sides at the same time, and you end up with um, minus 3. And at this point, you go, oh, I've got x and y, I can stop. But if you want to really make sure that you've got everything right, we can always check our equation answers and leave a classroom knowing that we have got everything right. So again, we just, just lots of substitution. It's called by substitution, and that is what we're doing again and again and again. Okay, so you get minus 6, get minus 9, um, minus 6, and then minus uh, 3, sorry minus 9, so trying to think too far ahead knowing that I'm trying to get to minus 9. What type of statement is this? Yeah, you should be saying it's a true statement, but what does that true statement mean? Well, when you're checking an answer, if you get the true statement, it is it means that you found out that 1 minus 3 is the solution. And that's how you do it by substitution. Now, I could have <clears throat> depending on which one you're using, one or two, like for here, I could have used this one as two in, in here and worked out the x value, but then when I'm checking, I would have used this equation to do the checking part. But I always try and pick the what I think is going to be the easiest route or the quickest route when I'm doing that. And that's how you do it. Make sure you've written all the notes down, and then it's time for you to do some fun work on your own.